All right, this thing on. Yeah, I think, I think it's working. Okay, so let's talk about it. You're into robotics, you wanna build a fighting robot and you wanna get right at it. But there's a couple things you gotta know. First of all, here I've got my robot Scrappy. I've already turned it on because it takes about 30 seconds for it to turn on. You turn it on by just pressing that center button right there that's surrounded by the green. That turns it on, okay? Um, a couple things about the buttons. Of course, that's the up button, that's the down button, that's the right button, left button, because there's the menu's kind of hard to screen, and the, the screen's kind of hard to see there, but that moves you around on the menu, those buttons there. This button here is kind of the back button. It's also the cancel button if something's running. So if I'm running this program here, and it's just counting down from five right now because it's about to start running. Okay, there, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so it's running. So you can see it's running here. It's looking for its predator. I mean, it's, it's prey. And if I want to cancel that, like you're like, oh, it's doing it wrong, just press this button and it cancels it. Okay, that also is the button you can turn it off with. So if you press it again on the screen there, yeah, see, it gives me that option and I could go over to the check mark there and I could press that. This is the select button, the middle one, and I could turn it off if I wanted to. Okay, but I'm gonna hit the back button because I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's basically how to turn on the robot. It does take about 30 seconds for it to turn on and about 30 seconds to turn off. So just don't panic about that. All right, now I've got the iPad here. Let's talk about running the program. EV3 Classroom is the app that's there, so I'm gonna just tap on it. It always opens up to this page, which kind of really irritates me because I don't need anything off this page and you don't need it right now. So I'm gonna press just the X up here to close it. Oops, uh, I'm gonna go, let me close this project here. Okay, this is where you normally go back to, unless you are working on a project that goes into, which the student before you maybe was working on a project. So you see, I just had to close out of that project. So. Uh, new project, so let's give this a go here. So I've got new project, and I can see from this little thing up there that it wasn't connected to a, um, a, a um, robot. So I just tapped on it, and now it's looking for it. It's looking for the robot here. Come on, come on, find it. Let me just make sure that uh, Bluetooth is turned on on my iPad here. Oh yeah, there it is, okay. Sorry, I, just was being, I was just being impatient. But there it is, it's on the menu right there. That's EV31, right? That's what the robot I've got. I'm gonna tap on that so that it connects to it. Okay, yes, I'm gonna allow that, yes. Just waiting for it to happen, waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, so, so we're into that, why? That just changed over to a different piece of software. So let me just see, you know, it, it still is confusing with the other EV3 software that's on here, so I'm going to go back into Classroom here, uh, and I can see now that it's connected. Brick is successfully connected. Okay, so I'm good there. Then I'm going to go here to test it out. This is just your first trial run here. I'm going to go to the pink button here for movement, and I'm going to tell it to, I'm going to drag this down and say, you know, when program starts, uh, move forward for one rotation. Okay, so I, I got that in there, and then I'm ready to... Uh, uh, send that to my robot. So let me let me get that here, and I'm gonna hit just that play button right there, and now it's downloading it to this guy. And watch, it went forward one rotation. It did exactly what it's supposed to do. So that uh, is the lesson for uh, how the buttons work on the robot, and how to connect your iPad to the robot, and how also a little bit about how to use this interface here. Because uh, it, it is brand new in 2021, a school year. They've changed how the interface works. So uh, good luck with it. And I can't wait to see you with fighting robots.